All right, so here today, I really wanted to talk about something pretty fun. I know it's time to collab, which we won't get collabs pretty soon, and this may not happen for a decent amount of time in the game, but there is something pretty cool about this, right? The concept that when we were first introduced to what Holy Relics were, we put two and two together, and we decided, ah, they said they want to bring rerun like collaborations back to the game, and we said, oh, if a relic is the way they buff old characters, what are they going to do with these relics? And we obviously put two and two together properly and came up to the conclusion, yeah, they're going to go and buff collab units with relics. That happened. Now, the newest system to buff older units and units like that is the LR system. Will that touch collaborations? Today, I want to just talk about that and see like the possibilities and what it could do. Realize now we don't know if it's going to actually happen. Uh, we don't know if even rear reruns can happen, like reruns of a rerun can happen. So like slime part three, is that even possible? We don't know, but there are units that are still highly valuable that people are missing so are they ever going to return we don't know but today we'll talk about it like and subscribe helps out it's on let's have some fun i guess so first this is melee over here you now have this tab over here called the legendary evolution he's the first ever character in the game to get this this requires a special currency and this requires this this requires this the first claim i'm going to debunk right away is people are going to say oh they would never do it they're not going to give us like that much free lr currency you have to realize no they definitely won't give you LR currency like that, obviously not, but it's because it's the same way how it works for other characters, right? If you were to look at it, you go to the Holy Relic tab, yeah? This is crafted with this said currency, the Nidhogg currency, but collaboration relics are not crafted with the same currency. They are brand new currency that is separate, which you get during the collaboration event. So it could be when we get our LR versions, all we have to throw in are the books associated, the LR pen is associated, and we could see some sort of, or UR pen, sorry. Uh, or you can see some new sort of uh, coin system for that, right? You have to farm the coins during the four-week event or two-week event of the collaboration, and you get it. That could be the first thing. That could be how it works. But it does make kind of sense if they want to re-rerun characters because there are, you know, initial characters. By the time they rerun, right? By the time Slime comes back, some of the characters may have fallen off, right? So due to the reason of me forgetting the names, I'm just going to search it over here and check if I can uh, if I can find it. Uh, it's Unknown Race. What is her name? Uh, Kidna is not one of them. Amelia, you know, she kind of really fell off hard. Uh, her Relic released, right? So for it, it's garbage. Increases the hero's damage dealt to frozen enemies. It's not really the best. So for a character like that, they definitely got shafted. So what's that beyond? When they rerun this banner for ReZero, no one's really going to care about Amelia. Ram was given away for free. Ram was given away for free. Beatrice still sucks after her buff. Uh, Akina's there and Reinhardt's there, right? And Reinhardt's fallen off. So re-rerunning a collaboration is terrible if they even ever plan to do it, right? If they even ever plan to do it, what's going to happen? Those units suck, yeah? And now if you come into a point in this game when, let's say, in the next six months, we have eight new additional, or let's say 12. Let's say they, they speed up the cycle. They do 12 LR units. Let's say that's the case. Units like collab units will never compete on an, any sort of spectrum because of everything. They're not going to have the stats to do it. LR units are going to surpass them heavily. New Fez units are going to surpass them heavily. What's going to happen to collabs? What, what, what's going to happen, right? So LR, like if you look at the, the CC ranking, freaking Melly is up there. He is, he is nuts. His CC is, is skyrocketed. Uh, collab units like top eight in comparison. And it's like a big disparity in what the uh, CC is, right? Now for a character like Benny Martyr or anything from the original collabs, let's say you even look at it for a collab that was initially the first uh, collab, right? That was Kyo with um, KOF, right? This character, when he reruns, what's going to happen? I mean, people are still begging to get Kyo till this day uh, because they may have not gotten it last time or they weren't here when the rerun occurred and the initial one occurred, so what happened, right? What's going to happen to those, you know, said characters for the said players? Are they going to catch a buff? What's going to happen? For LR to do it, it would be pretty cool um, and it makes sense because there's a lot of uh, collab units that people want and you know, Netmarble has been very lazy lately, right? They love to do reruns because it's only two characters they have to work on, and that's it. Um, yes, they now have to work on so many LR outfits and stuff like that. Uh, and we also don't know what's going to happen to LR. How is it going to work, right? We still haven't reached that point uh, in the part of the game where this, again, could never happen because we don't know when it drops. Like, how often will it drop? When will Perg Bond get his buff? Is it only festival units that get their buff? Will we have a, a time in life or whatever where Deldry gets an LR unit and has a chance to shine? Or is this more so we're going to revive characters that were good initially that we can just make really good? Right? So if we were to go back memory land and pick a character randomly here, let's say we pick somebody like, uh, I'm sorry to say this, but, sorry, what the hell did I say? Sorry to say this, but let's say they pick Goddess Elizabeth. Let's say that's the case. Boom, it was already a very good character, a very strong character. They allow her to bring back her use case, 
boom, is that what they're going to do, right? So that's an aspect of it. Uh, we definitely will approach. Uh, so we don't know if it's fully expanded past Vestal units. They said clearly in the dev notes, just revive old units, right? And it's very stupid if you only can LR Fez units or a small subsection of units over the course of one year. Let's say it's like, oh, we introduced 12 units. Again, it's not that it's the flaw of LR units. It's the flaw of introducing a currency that took so long to farm that how is it going to work, right? It's the stupidity of the farming, not the stupidity of the system, correct? If you, get, if you guys want to drift there, right? Because it takes for freaking ever to farm an LR unit. So by the time you even get Melly, it'll be like three months into it. So if it was a better system or a better farming system, then it would be very much kind of better to understand and get through. You know what I mean? So at the end of the day, that's also there. Uh, again, we don't know also the time frame of when we get those things. Uh, but remember for units like, you know, Eren and all this, they have to get like boosted stats. They need a lot. Like the AOT units need a lot. The original ReZero units need a lot. The original, um, what is it? Kyo and like KOF units, they need a lot. Rugal's dead. So if they ever were to rerun or rerun collab, which we don't know if that's ever going to actually happen, but if that does happen, they're dead on, on like the, the, the launch, right? Unless they get some sort of like entire stat rework, which isn't associated to LR, but it's like at, at some point, if you're LRing collab unit or sorry, festival units, and they do expand it to let's say Green Escanor, uh, Camilla, and all these other units, it's stupid that, you know, collab units never get it, right? So it would be pretty cool to see that happen, uh, but we do not know if it's a precedent set uh, or if even we're gonna, we're like, we're ever gonna see uh, old collaborations get a rerun. Um, which again, there are a lot of units that people are still missing uh, till this day that every comment comes by. It's like, oh, what do I do? I don't have it. Uh, and like, let's say a collab that has to rerun at some point, right? There was no shot. They're not going to rerun this one because they just recently did it. It's been almost um, eight ish seven ish six, i don't even know the time frame dog it's been so long but we recently had uh what is the shield hero shield hero has never gotten a rerun it's supposed to get a rerun it was our first new collab in a while so let's say this gets a rerun you can't buff the characters again the only way you can buff these characters are if you give them lr or you just randomly rework all of them and give them stat changes and stuff like that which people might not want uh, to the aspect of like ruining a kit and reworking a card. Uh, but if it's just like a stat increase, a base one without the introduction of LR, that could work. But in, an, in a, a collab like this, the relics have already been given. So there is no additional buff that can be provided other than LR or just a additional stat increase. Correct? Do you see what I'm trying to say here? So it is potentially cool and it would be something nice to see. But let me know what you think. Maybe, maybe this is a stupid idea and you do not want to see your units get LR. You prefer the system we currently have. Obviously, they're not going to make you farm for it. You know, collabs are just normal. They give you the currency by taking part in the event, which shouldn't be held to go through. Um, and then again, it's also introduction of four LR units in one update, which we still don't know how LR works. We don't know too much, so really we can't like push that further and put like speculation to the, the max here. But for what it is, I think it'll be a pretty solid system. And for the collabs that are dead, they could catch a revive, right? LR Athena with a better passive over here, a nice additional costume, stuff like that. Per personally, personally, that's way too much work for Marvel. They do not want to do that. Four additional costumes, hell no. For free? Oh, well, they charge 20 bucks for that. For free? Hell no, right? Hell no. So we will see, but it is a really cool talking point. And it is something that we can like imagine. It would be sick to have LR Slime Rimuru, right? That would be sick, but... Will we get it? You know, probably, probably not. So, it is what it is. Will we actually get reruns again? We don't know either, so. It is what it is.